7-1, preparing an income statement. So there are two objectives here. Um, first one, you will be able to prepare an income statement for a service business, and you will be able to calculate and analyze financial ratios using income statement amounts. So the first thing is just talking about the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting. Financial accounting is just meaning that it focuses on reporting the information to external users. So that means somebody that is not involved with the company. Where managerial accounting is the accounting focuses on reporting that information to internal users. So like managers of the business, it's there for them to use that information. Um, when we are creating an income statement, we are simply going to look at our worksheet and we're going to take all of that information off of our worksheet to create our income statement. So we are simply looking at, on our worksheet, we're simply looking at these two income statement columns. Just like we did with a worksheet, we are going to create a heading. A heading always answers three questions. Who, what, and when. Now for this one, again, we're going to use four month ended because we are going to show the information over time. Remember, an income statement shows that revenue minus expenses is going to equal net income. Okay? Or we could have a net loss, but that's what an income statement is. Revenue minus expenses equals net income. So notice when we look here on our income statement, that's exactly what we're showing. We're showing our revenue section minus our expenses section equals our net income. Okay, so our first section is our revenue. We only have one type of revenue. That's our sales account. So that is just going to be the amount that we have in our sales account. Now, we will see coming up that we might have more than one sales account, and we'll have an example of that in a little bit here. Then our second part is going to be our expenses. We're simply going to label that as expenses. We're going to list all of our expense accounts that we have and the balances of those accounts. We're going to put a single line rule, which means we are going to add those amounts together. We're going to label that as total expenses. And then we're going to put our total over here on the right. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to calculate what our net income is. So we're going to take our sales minus our expenses to get our net income. This number here should match what we have on our worksheet. If it does not, we have an error somewhere. Also, if you notice, we have some numbers written over here in the right side column and then some that are written in the left side. The reason that these are written on the left side is we have to do some calculations. These are not our final numbers. Our total expenses is our final number. That's why it's written over here in the right. Next part we're gonna do, talk about is analyzing then our income statement. So they talk about a financial ratio and that is just comparing two different components of financial information. Um, a financial or um, a ratio analysis is then calculating and figuring out what that financial ratio means. And then we have what's called the vertical analysis, which is reporting an amount on a financial statement as a percentage of another item on the same financial statement. And that's what we're going to be doing here in a little bit is vertical analysis. So we're gonna be comparing two different items on the same financial statement. All right, so here is our um, income statement that we've created. And notice that we have these new numbers in here. We have these percentages. We're going to do that vertical analysis here. So how did we get 100.0? All we did, all we did here is we took our sales divided by our sales. Notice how this column is labeled as percentage of sales. So we took sales divided by sales to get 100.0. This is very important, guys. You have to put that 0 0.0 in there. And you have to round to the nearest 0.1%. Okay, and then when we go down to here, we are only doing the numbers that are in the far right um, column. So we're going to take total expenses. 
we're going to take total expenses divided by total sales to get our total expense ratio. Percentage of sales. So we're just going to take this number here, total expenses, divided by our total sales to get 45.7%. We don't have to put that percent in there because it's already labeled up here as a percentage. And then the last one we're going to do is our net income ratio. We're simply going to take our net income divided by our sales to get our 54.3. What we are saying here is that our expenses is 45% of what our sales are. Same thing with net income. Our net income is 54% of what our sales are. This is what I was talking about earlier. So this is an example of when we might have two different sales or revenue sources. So here we have two different sales. Um, so this must be, um, it's repair it now. So they must repair lawnmowers. So here they have sales from repairing riding mowers. And here we have sales from repairing push mowers. So two different sales accounts. We are going to put those in the left column. We're going to add them to get our total revenue. A lot like what we did with our expenses. Our, our expenses are going to be listed in the left column. We're going to add them to get our total expenses, which is in the right column. So we, two, we still have two different sections, our revenue section and our expenses section. Now, in this example as well, they also show that we're having a net loss. When we look at our revenue, we're at 21.2. And when we look at our expenses, we're at 24,127. So we already know that we've lost money. We're subtracting these two numbers. That's going to give us a negative number. Remember in accounting, when we write negative numbers, we're going to put those in parentheses to show that negative number. We're still going to do those. Oops, goodness. We're still going to do those percentages. So to figure out this percentage, we're going to take revenue divided by revenue to get 100.0. We're going to take total expenses divided by revenue to get 113.8. And then we're going to take this negative number divided by revenue to get our negative 13.8. All right, so it says list the four sections of an income statement. We're going to start with our heading, then we have our revenue, and then we have our expenses, and then the last section is either our net income or our net loss. Number two, what is the formula for calculating the total expenses ratio? We're simply going to take total expenses and divide that by total sales. Total sales is always going to be on the bottom. Number three, what is the formula for calculating the net income ratio? We're going to take net income divided by total sales. Okay, so that was the end of 7-1. Um, go ahead and open up 7-1 Work Together on Applia.